Near-field probes such as these can be really useful for locating and identifying emissions off of your device or board when doing EMI pre-compliance testing. In this video, I'll talk about the different types of probes and also display the power of the RSA 306B a real time spectrum analyzer with its DPX display technology for picking up these emissions off your board. In this video, I'll be showcasing the RSA 306B, a real time spectrum analyzer up to 6.2 gigahertz, and also the probe set from TechBox. It's the uh, TBP S01. It's also available from Tektronix. There are two main types of probes. Uh, this set comes with one E-field probe, or electric field uh, probes. These types of probes respond to electric fields produced by changes of voltage. So uh, these typically look like stubs, or they have little balls at the end of them uh, for picking up these radiated emissions. And they basically are insensitive to the orientation in which you use them. So that's an important thing to know. When you're using them on the board, it doesn't matter which direction you're, you're placing them in, you're still going to be able to pick up that electric field. Now these also have three magnetic or H-field probes. Uh, these magnetic field, you have one with a wider radius and a more focused radius for picking up more focused areas. Uh, the H-field probe is good for picking up magnetic fields. And magnetic fields, of course, are created by changes in electric current. Uh, so you want to be able to look, look for areas on the board uh, and know if it's a changing electric current, you may want to be able to, to use a uh, magnetic field versus uh, an electric field probe. Uh, another thing to note with magnetic field probes, these are sensitive to the direction or the orientation in which you use them. Uh, you want to make sure that you're using them where the electric current is flowing parallel to the probe. So you don't want to be able to, you won't be able to pick up the signal or the emissions if you're using them in a perpendicular angle. So now that you have an understanding of the different types of probes, now I'm going to show you uh, by probing this board here, this demo board. And really what you're going to see is with the H-field probe, it's able to pick up the magnetic fields quite easily. With the power of the real-time DPX, you can actually see uh, emissions that you wouldn't be able to see in a normal uh, swept spectrum display. With the DPX display, we can see broadband noise is barely being picked up by the swept display. You can also see easily see signals under signals or signals under noise where you wouldn't be able to pick up otherwise. The same can be true when using the E-field probe for picking up electric fields. So here, you can easily see this intermittent uh, signal coming off of this, uh, this DAC. It's not being picked up by the swept display. And even when we switch to a max hold trace, it's barely pick, being picked up. With the real-time DPX, it gives you enhanced insight compared to a regular swept spectrum analyzer. And now with the electric field probe, uh, we can measure changing uh, voltages. So coming off of this DAC, you can see uh, there's signals here, in intermittent signals that aren't easily being picked up by the swept display. And when I introduce some, some additional signals to the board, the swept display is missing it completely. And so with real-time DPX, you get enhanced insight that you wouldn't be able to have otherwise with a regular swept spectrum analyzer. OK, and now I'm going to compare the RSA 306B with the Regal DSA815. It's a swept spectrum analyzer versus the real-time vector signal analyzer. Now, as we probe, as you'll see, I've got uh, a T connector here. It's connecting to both instruments, so they'll be receiving the same signal with the near-field probe. And as we probe, it's pretty easy, and you can quickly tell that the DPX display with the real-time signal analyzer has a much faster update rate despite having similar settings and similar setups. You can also see that uh, the noise floor is a lot lower on the RSA 306B than it is on the Regal. We're getting about 105 uh, of uh, dB here on the noise floor, whereas just over 90 dB on the Regal. 
And what you can get with the DPX display, it allows you, to, in the real-time capabilities, it allows you to see those emissions that you wouldn't be otherwise be able to see or quickly identify with a regular swept spectrum analyzer. In this video, I showed you the power of the RSA 306B for doing troubleshooting and EMI pre-compliance. And I also talked about the different types of EMI probes for doing near field measurements. For more information and tips on EMI troubleshooting and EMI pre-compliance, visit us at tech.com and visit the solutions page for EMI and EMC pre-compliance.